Hi, I'm Ladi and I want to show you my latest DIY project that you can make from home. After developing our high-tech cyberbike and helping people all over the world building their e-bike 4.2s, time has come to focus more on affordable and more practical bikes. The Winder. Winder is a 6 kW all-purpose bike with incredible speed of 80 km an hour and only 46 kg. It has 1.8 kWh battery, Bluetooth BMS, regenerative braking, and uses the phone as a main screen. Throttle is my favorite just like on the motorcycles. Regenerative braking is on the left thumb, which is another dynamic riding component. I am absolutely stoked about these mud guards because you can print them on the most common Prusa printers. This one is printed from three pieces and they are just bolted together. It's seriously done within a few minutes. This one is printed from one piece and it has spaces for zip ties so you just tie it into the front fork and you're good to go. these orange panels are 3D printed. Inside you have extra supports for the battery, controller, mount and cable management system. I can't get over how these high-tech options we DIY people have in the 21st century. You can easily make this in your garage. This grid is worth mentioning too. It deflects wind when riding to the controller, so it's always cooled down well. From the beginning I thought about user experience when building one of these. All the panels you can see here are printed, so you can print them home or just print them locally. They have dedicated holders for cable management, for the controller, and it's very easy rewarding process to put the bike together. I love how lightweight Winder is, how easy it is to maneuver it and how stealthy it feels in the traffic. It can easily make 60 km per charge and is fully charged in just 3 hours. Nobody ever suspects to have this amount of power in such a small body. The battery is made of 18 650 cells and they are held in the printed holders. Spot welder is required to make one or you can just order finished pack. It becomes like a plug and play Lego. Tools needed for this project are pretty common garage tools like the hammer, screwdriver, allen keys, wrenches, pliers, soldering station and if you decide to make your own battery pack you will need a spot welder too. You know my system at this point. From the parts list you order straight from suppliers to your address while skipping the middleman resellers. Then you learn from my video guide how all the parts fit together, what to be aware of and how to troubleshoot. More information you will find on my website mysuperebike.com. 
Bike is made of parts available online so anyone globally can make it. This bike is going to cost you 2800 US dollars and takes around 2 weeks to build. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little winter introduction. See you next time in another video.